Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and guess what? We hit level 20, finally, and that means we have access to Tier 3 now. So let's take a look at that. Um, actually, before we take a look at that, a couple things I want to show you. Uh, spent a lot of time logging and mining stone. We got some wood piles here. I've got um, a lot of stone and wood in here, plus some stone pieces that I've created. Uh, that we're going to get started with our build on. So I basically did tin floors, foundations, walls, and beams. And of course, we're going to need a lot more than that. Um, and, you know, the storms have pretty much destroyed <laughs> all the trees on my island. I mean, I have not <coughs> cut down a tree on this island in a very long time. Uh, but as you can see, there's not very many. Um, so basically, when the storm knocks them down, I just go harvest them because what else can you do about it, right? And so... Yeah, we got that. Uh, that kind of sucks, but, you know, when it's all said and done, our base is going to be on this side and our view is going to be out to the east. So uh, it, it shouldn't be a big deal, I guess. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just lots of harvesting, uh, you know, to get our XP back that we lost from that polar bear kill. Also, some of you may have mentioned this in the comment, but I've, I'm recording this uh, on the same day that I recorded the, the previous episode. Uh, I found out by just looking online that the polar bears can wander into the forest. If, uh, for some reason, my tombstone's still there, too. I don't know why. Uh, can wander into the forest if you're near an entrance to the snow biome. And guess what? There's an entrance to the snow biome right where we died. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's that's a thing. <laughs> so we have to be really careful. But it does explain why there was a polar bear uh, in that area. So, yeah, that was most unfortunate that it happened. All right, uh, I've added some more crop plots, as you can see, and I, I went ahead and put down some pillars on each of these corners and uh, in order to try and remove some of the grass, because without the pillars, the, you know, some of the grass was still sticking through, but the pillars seem to do a pretty good job of removing the grass from the crop plots, which is great. So, yeah, I planted a lot more stuff. Uh, we've got, uh, what do we got here? Uh, we got cocoa seed there. We've got soybeans coffee beans a couple of corn uh, which by the way is ready uh, let's grab this and then replant it uh, you don't have to and you don't want to keep any extra corn there you just have to put it in once to plant the seed by the way also figured that out um and then let's see we've got four things of watermelon looks like this one's ready to go and we'll plant one back in there is this one yep very good so this is awesome man uh this is really awesome so we're getting us a nice little collection of watermelons there. Uh, these are berries, which I've already harvested because they grow really fast. And then I got some herbs going on in here. So these are lilies. These are reed flowers. These are uh, the yeast plant. And then I got a couple of wheats uh, growing as well. A couple of wheat plants growing. Um, so anyway, let's... Um, what do we got in here? Oh, some carrots. Yeah. Okay, let's get in the house because the storm's going to... It's starting to get bad here. Oh, actually, it's been bad for a while. Love the water drops on my crossbow. Isn't that a really cool detail? The funny thing about it, though, is if I jump in the water uh, and it's not raining out, the water drops aren't there. But <laughs> put the offer of the rain, which is really cool. Nice little effect. So it's the little things, right? Uh, anyway, okay, so let's see. I, uh, what else did I do? I, I went ahead and actually installed an oxidizer uh, because it doesn't make sense for me to use my portable oxygen while I'm at the base. Um, so these we just save when we're out and about. And actually, I put it, I put the extra water bottle and that in there too, just to save some space for you know crafting and whatnot. So yeah, we added that. So now we have um, more air just to get right at the base. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, we we actually started making creamed corn. So we got animal fat there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, a bunch of fruit salads and we're gonna make a bunch of creamed corn, except for. I think, oh, okay. So, yeah, that should work. It took, it takes the water out of the water skin. Um, so that's, you know, pretty damn good food, at least, you know, compared to what we've been dealing with up to this point. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's grab our fruit salad and... Oh, right, yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem to make the cream corn unless I put the water bottle in there. That's right, I forgot about that. Because I was having some issues with this earlier too, and I couldn't figure out what's why it wasn't working. So you actually have to put. Um, oh, did I? 
I did it the wrong way around. I'm always I'm used to this being the other direction. Uh, my inventory on the right and the container on the left, so it still continually throws me off here. Okay, so let's fill those up. And we have to actually put the water bottle in here, and then we can make the creamed corn. Uh, because it requires water. There it goes. And then it just takes the water bottle down until it runs out. And if we... Yeah, okay, good. So let's grab the creamed corn out of there. And now, uh, both of these give really good buffs. So 100% food when consumed, 75 health and stamina, and minus 10 oxygen water. And this is 75 maximum stamina, 150 maximum health, and less 10% less stamina consumed by actions, and also 100 food. Uh, so... Uh, what I've been doing is doing the meat buff, and then the fruit salad buff, and the creamed corn buff. There you go. And look at our health bar. Look how much health bar we have now in the lower left-hand corner uh, from doing all that. So it's awesome. Plus, we have a lot of stamina, too. Uh, pretty good size stamina bar. Okay, cool. So um, let's go ahead and now look at our stuff. So we're going to go to talents. Uh, we've been working on uh, combat tree... And we want increased arrow damage. I'm assuming that applies to bolts too. Arrow speed, trained bowman, bowsmith, increased arrow damage too. Yeah, so yeah, let's sport that. And uh, looks like we have two talents actually. Um, cheaper bow crafting. Eh. Maybe we should put something into Kniffy's. Increased melee attack speed, movement with speed with a knife, faster aim wind up. Oh, oh, no. Let's do guns. Faster pistol. Well, can, okay, let's, let's, let's hold off on that for just a second. But does one of these give more damage? That's cheaper, faster reloading, handling, reload speed, reload speed. Okay, here's the damage stuff down here. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if we can or even should get to guns right now. So, where does the blade damage come? Increased melee attack damage right there. Yeah, okay, let's hold off on that. Let's look at our tech tree. So, we have four points. Now, uh, let's go to tier three. And we're going to have to unlock the machining bench to get access to anything else. So, let's do that. And then I want to I wanna get into um, the, these things here. So the thing is, though, is I was trying to mine platinum in the cave, and it wouldn't let me do it with the iron pick. Unless I was doing something wrong. Ooh, yeah, the canteen would be nice, too, for sure. And a wall light would be kind of nice. A kitchen bench. A modular workspace for cooking and concocting com complex recipes. So we can cook and make here, huh? That's cool. Uh, refined wood. Ooh. So there must be some kind of a lumber mill that we make with that. <clears throat> How do we get refined wood? Smoke grenades. Oh, a recurve bow. Beautiful. Metal oxide dissolver. De dehumidifier. I think this we can take this with us in a cave, and then we don't have to worry about the... Um, you know, the pneumonia business, glass working bench. Very cool. Aluminum. All right. Well, you know what we're going to do? Let's go into the cave. Um, And let's, yeah, let's go to the cave before I spend any more points because I want to see if I can actually nab some platinum. I, I thought I tried to do that with the iron pick and it wouldn't let me mine it, but I might be mistaken about that because I would love to get the platinum pickaxe first and then the axe next and then the knife and you know the tools here basically <clears throat> a carbon spear that's cool um so we so we need 12 platinum ingots all right let's um oh maybe i can maybe i have to unlock it first before i can mine it all right well I'll tell you what let's go let's go to the cave that still has the platinum in it and let's just see if we can figure out what the deal is with this Okay, so we should only have to deal with one worm in here. Let's just walk in, wait for him to pop up. There he is, right there. And crossbow bolt takes him out. 
And hopefully, can we get our crossbow bolt back? Uh, usually the bolt just drops on the ground. Where did it go? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we lost it. That sucks. Okay, so this is a platinum right here. <clears throat> so right now, it shows that I can't mine it. So I bet you what we have to do is learn this. No. All right, so how are we supposed to be able to get that? Um, here, let's get back out of the cave so we don't get pneumonia here. Okay, so <clears throat> machining bench. Upgrade your manufacturing abilities with basic machine tools. Is there something we have to do in the bench to upgrade the pick so that it can mine platinum? That's what I'm wondering. Because I'm not seeing anything else in here that allows us to do that. Is that a talent by chance? Survival. Um, survival construction combat. Increased stone. Skilled picker, lumber yield, wood breakdown, all the good stuff. Encumbrance, waste not, oxygen something or other. Weight of exotics, weight capacity, slinging stone. None of this stuff seems to indicate that you have you need it to get platinum. <clears throat> and I don't see anything in here along this tree here that would suggest that I need this to get platinum. Okay, maybe the machine bench holds the answer to this mystery. Let's go back to the base and build ourselves a machine bench. Okay, so let's see. To make this, we have to make an in the crafting bench. And we're going to need stone, 120 iron nails, yikes. And 40 iron ingots and epoxy. We got the epoxy in here. Uh, no, that's tree sap. How do I make epoxy? Oh, we got to learn epoxy. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go back to here. I think that was in tier two. <clears throat> Epoxy. Okay. So obviously we have to learn that. We have no choice. Okay. So now to make the epoxy, which is here, we need crushed bone. Or tree sap and sulfur. Okay. we That we can do. That we can do. So we already have tree sap in here. We need to put some sulfur in. Uh, let's grab that. Okay, so how many of these can I make? 18. And how much do you need for the bench? You need 10. Okay. So let's make 10 of these. And that takes care of the epoxy. Okay, what else do we need now? Um, we need 40 iron ingots, which I don't ha <clears throat> have. I only, I don't have any iron ingots, actually. Actually, no, that's not true. I got eight in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it looks like we're going to have to go mining with the uh, iron pickaxe again and in a different cave. Let's uh, take another hit of that, and we might as well recharge this. Okay, so let's grab our portable oxygen and stuff. No, wrong wrong way, dude. Wrong way. I'm going to put all of this in here, or as much of it in there as I can, anyway. Let's 
get everything back in its position. <clears throat> I'm pretty low. Uh, I need to make more flint arrows too. We have we still have 19 bolts, so we're pretty good there. And um, we've got uh, we're pretty good on food too. Let's just throw the barbecue carrot in here. All right, now before we go, obviously we need iron, right? For this. And we need iron nails. Everything else is easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go do some mining. And um, I think I'll just cut the camera here. And I'll be back once I have mined a shit ton of iron. See you in a bit. All right, guys. We're back at base. I think I have enough iron uh, to do what we need to do. So I got 12 ingots here. We're going to put those in here and then we're gonna make a hundred and twenty nails and then I need forty uh, what wait what oh a hundred ten wait what it should be enough nails ten we should be able to make 200 with this, so why... Oh, 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 right. I only need to make 12. I gotcha. Okay. Because <laughs> there's 10 in each. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so we'll make the nails there, and then we need 40 ingots in total. Uh, so we should have enough iron, I think, to, to achieve that. I went back up to... I don't know if you guys remember or not, but there's a cave right up in here. And I pretty much mined all the iron out of it. There's still some copper and some platinum and even some aluminum in there. Uh, but I can't mine the aluminum either. I always get a kick out of these survival games that places aluminum as a, a higher tiered metal than iron. Uh, but it's harder than iron in the game. So, yeah, that's funny. Anyways, <laughs> that's just kind of the way it works. So, yeah, we're waiting for uh, these 40 ingots here. And then once those are done, I think we have everything else we need. Uh, to make that machine bench. So let's grab these nails here. And we'll stick those in here. Okay, and then let's see. We're going to need 12 stone, which is easy peasy. Uh, let's just grab the stack of 40 and we'll throw the whole thing in there. All right. And 10 epoxy, which we've made in here. We'll throw that in the crafting bench. And we have everything we need except for the 40 ingots. So I'll bring you guys back as soon as those 40 ingots are ready. We'll make the machine bench, and then we'll see what our options are from there. Uh, one other thing, too. Um, I'm either going to have to make another floor in here. Which we should be able to just make out of wood because, um, you know, it's, it's going to be protected. To put some crafting benches, or we're going to have to put some stuff in the middle and walk around it. I think we're going to go with the middle and walk around for the moment. Um, but if if we need to, if it turns out we need to make another floor, we'll just do it. Um, I just don't want to put anything more into this building right now uh, if we don't have to. So anyway, um, we're a little over halfway there. So I'll bring you guys back when we have 40. Okay, so we got our 40 ingots here plus 11 uh, left over, which I think I'm going to just leave in there for now. And now let's make ourselves a machining bench. Look at that. We are moving up in the world. Moving up in the world. <clears throat> so I'm hoping there's something I can do in here to upgrade my pick so that I can mine platinum. Um, so let's grab this. Firewhacker is kind of less important now that we have a stone building. How big is this thing? Okay. Yeah, so what, what I think we're going to do is we're going to have to start putting some workstations down in the middle of the building and walk around them for now. So why don't we maybe put the machining bench like so. And then, you know, we had the armor bench too, but I don't think that's something we're going to use very often. Uh, plus, we can't do anything with it until we learn leather armor anyway. Uh, but the next workstation we have to do, then maybe we'll put one long ways here, one crossways here, and one long ways here, if we can get that to work. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Platinum pickaxe. All right, so steel rebar and steel screws. 
so we're back to square one then. How do I get platinum ingots to make a platinum pickaxe if I can't mine platinum? What am I missing? Let's go back here and look again. So tier one. Oh, 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 steel pickaxe. That's what we need. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I'm missing. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Switch from uh, iron right to platinum. No, that ain't going to happen. All right, I completely forgot about steel pickaxe, which actually opened up to us at level 15, I think. Uh, all right, so this is crafted at the anvil bench. So how do we do steel ingots? Do we do, we do coal and iron at the same time? Um, well, no, because we have coal and we've had iron in there. Iron ingot. Recipes required. So we got to figure out a way to get a steel recipe. Flour, carbon paste, gunpowder, steel bloom. Oh, okay. Crafted at the mortar and pestle. A precursor mixture of iron ore and coal. That's probably what we need. That's probably what we need to make steel. Okay. Um, and we don't have any points left. So guess what? We're going to have to wait till the next level now. But I think that that seems to me like what we need. So I guess we mix this together. Um, and then we, then we stick it in the forge to make the ingot. Okay. Well, at least I've figured it out, but unfortunately we're going to have to wait for a while. So let's go back to our talents. Um, and let's kind of keep focusing, I guess, on combat. Um, let's do another increase faster reload, easy draw, cheaper boat crafting, movement speed. Yeah. Let's just keep pumping, um, damage for now. Okay, well, we figured it out. So, um, and, you know, none of this was a waste because we're going to need this anyways. So, yeah, steel ingots, baby. That's what we got to work on next. Okay, well, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm about a third of the way to the next level. So I'm going to go out off camera and find another mine um, to get more iron because we're going to need that, of course, um, to make steel. So I probably will not bring you guys back or start the next episode until that happens so hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye